Right. This coming Sunday, daylight saving time ends, so you need to set your clocks back an hour. And many of you, including myself, may find that just <laughs> a little bit annoying, but a growing number of people contend saving daylight actually cost us big money. Local 12's Dwayne Pullman digs into the numbers in the latest. Dwayne, is that right? <laughs> As we rush through our daily lives, we barely notice time sweeping through. Since March 10th, our days have been brighter thanks to daylight saving time. But more and more people say daylight saving time is costing us money. Duane? Is that right? The thought that daylight saving time is expensive is odd since it was adopted in the U.S. in 1966 to conserve energy. Recent studies about that, though, are mixed. When Indiana switched to daylight saving time in 2006, it saw a 1% increase in electricity use. While the U.S. Department of Energy revealed saving daylight drops the use of fossil fuels nationwide by a half percent. In 2008, a unique study used the average wage in the U.S. and calculated the labor cost for every person in the country, resetting all those clocks backward and forward, coming up with a yearly cost of $1.7 billion. That seems like a reach, but another study linked decreased production and workplace injuries to daylight saving time, calculating the cost to the U.S. economy at $433 million a year. But the real cost may be tied to our health. Changing those clocks does interrupt sleep. And some studies link that clock changing to a rise in drowsy driver deaths and an increase in heart attacks. Whatever the real figures are, if someone tells you there's a cost associated with daylight saving time, they're right. No matter how alarming that sounds. I'm Dwayne Pullman. And if something doesn't sound right to you and you want Dwayne to check it out, contact him on his Facebook page or his Twitter account. I'll take